In this video, I'm going to talk about how easy it is for non-programmers to learn Deluge. Zoho talks about Deluge being really easy, that it speaks the language of your business, requires less lines of code, and it's got this nice drag and drop editor. Sounds good, but the reality is that if you don't have a programming background, you're going to be confused. You won't be able to think algorithmically, which is what you need to be able to do in order to write any code. And for that reason, I recommend that before you get stuck into writing any deluge, that you do a basic programming course in JavaScript or Python, just to learn how a program is structured, what if statements are, what control flow is, what methods are, what variables are, all the basics. If you go through, there's a Codecademy course on JavaScript, which takes five hours, and you'll find that it sets you up pretty well because Deluge, the syntax of it, the grammar is quite similar to JavaScript. If you can write a bit of JavaScript, you'll find it relatively easy to understand Deluge. So I'd recommend that before you get stuck into the, the meat of Deluge, that you have a crack at another programming language. You could also look up database access. I think that's not really required because Deluge has a nice abstraction around data access. But if you start writing Zoho Creator apps, then you probably want an understanding generally of what a database table is, what a query is, so you can compare it with the way that Zoho Creator does it. You could, for example, look up Codecademy SQL. I think they have a course on SQL. Yeah, learn SQL. This definitely wouldn't be required. It's more of a, a nice to do. But it may help to give you an understanding of what data access looks like normally in a normal programming project. And you can see how easy it is to do with Deluge. Hope that hope helps you getting into Deluge.